All right. This video, it was really hard to make, but I just, I just have to make it. My microphone stand of about two years has died, and also, um, I, I have critical security issues with my Google account. Um, let's see which ones I have. Um, okay, um, this video is not sponsored by Dashlane. Last pass is better anyway. I don't own any of these accounts, therefore, I can't really. Do I look like a guy who'd have a credit card? No. Okay, let's do this now. Um, so, I have my broken microphone stand here. So, I'm going to teach you how to play it. It's a really fun instrument to play. And... So, first of all, in order to play it, you're going to need a screwdriver, okay? Why, you may ask? Well, the screwdriver is for tuning. And for picking, if you're savage. Yes, you are, in fact, savage, James Hetfield. My pick literally... Okay, my, pi I, my pick literally almost disappeared into thin air, but... Alright, so I have to make sure our thing is in tune, first of all, so, um... We're gonna wanna, um, but first of all, I'm gonna show you, um, a, a technique you can use if you find that your guitar is, if you're, I keep saying guitar, microphone stand is incredibly out of tune, you can just do this. Or this. It's like a whammy bar almost. So, here's what this specific string right here sounds like without any whammy bar action. G sharp nine, okay? Let's, let's do this whammage action. And G9 versus So 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 here it is so G sharp nine. Wait a minute, so. And then you got this. You can also move it like this, and let's see what it sounds like here. It's not exactly the same. If we do it like this, it might sound better. Wait. There's a problem. Actually, I was playing the wrong string. It was actually this string I was supposed to be. I'm, I can use the wind bar on top. F sharp 9 versus... And okay, so here. And then you got. 
Alright. And then you got... Okay, this is going to be not good. Um... F sharp 9. F sharp 9. The way that this works is basically if you propel this whammy bar, it pushes the strings upwards. It's kind of like how an actual whammy bar on a guitar works. I'm definitely gonna break this neck. I play guitar so much I call this thing on a whammy. I think I don't even play guitar that often. F sharp nine. It sounds kind of fuller, like like kind of yeah. But maybe if if I try the other string, it might work better. E3. It's a pretty cool convention. I recommend you go to it, even though I've never gone. It doesn't really change the pitch as much as it changes the tone. See, it happens if I hold a note like this, okay? Like dong 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 dong, like Saint Anger snare. That's more like Saint Anger snare, like this. Versus, which sounds more like crispy and like it sounds more like what you'd find in like a, a black metal guitar part. And then versus this. God. Okay. Uh, let's play. So ding 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 ding. It sounds like a really distorted doorbell. Now we have it's, it's we actually have never gone to the tuning part. We've just dealt with whammy bar so far. So let's get to the actual tuning. But first Okay, let's do this. Let's see what this sounds like. The note that it is, okay? Actually, know the note, okay? Actually, no, we really should do this one, yeah. So, actually, if we, um, tune it like this, it'll actually change, like, the tone of it more than actually changing, like, the pitch. So, I don't know if I'm tightening the screw or loosening it. Now, so remember that one sounded really like dark and like full. This time it sounds more like I honestly don't know the difference. Um, just tighten it even more. I don't. I think I'm actually loosening it, but who cares? Okay. That one sounds more like, um, industrial kind of. I I'm tightening the, s the string, okay? I'm not. Okay, so. Right? So let's, let's hear the note. Or something. F sharp 9, okay? Now. Loosen the string up a bit. This is really actually kind of dangerous. Um, there. I've, I've loosened the string a bit, so now. Still F sharp 9, but 
Yes. So what? So you you should you can probably figure out on your own what tuning you'd like. So there, there's a kind of um, an unfortunate rule. Or ever you get the on the on the string the opposite one on the string which like has the um, the actual screw on it the opposite one will always sound really really like this like yeah. But if you actually do the um, but if you do the other one it sounds like this. It sounds better. Okay. Now. Now that I've shown you how to tune it, let's um, go over actually how to play it. So, in order to play this broken um, thing, what we're going to do is we're going to first... Um... Okay, so, there's also actually, um, there's actually a speech technique I'd like to go over. You can also do a percussion groove. Which you can. So that's that's is that's, that's, wait a minute. Let me see what's in there. This allows you to tune what this percussion part part sounds like. It sounds like a cowbell there, okay? But if we can you can tune it a bit to be like more tight, and then it sounds it sounds like a cowbell, but it sounds kind of more full. Then if I tighten it even more, it should sound like this. It starts to get actually more pitchy near the end, so. So that you can play a percussion groove. Now, let me show you how to play it. Now, in order to actually play the thing, you gotta do something. So, so here's how you're supposed to play this thing. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna like, so you're gonna like, okay, so you're gonna like strum it, okay? So, let's do some trumpeting. picking. This is my pick, by the way. Um, not sponsored, but first act. The basic trim picking. That's, that's the one note. It's a dun dun dun. Dean, Dean, Dean versus the other the other side. The side sounds more heavy for sure. Then on the other sh on the um thinner strings. Thinner strings are about ha about are about, are about a whole step higher. So then we got the other one. This is where the street lights won't go. Really, this is an instrument where, to where your posture really affects how it sounds. Like, if you play it like this, it gives a certain sound, but if you play it like this, actually no, so, let's say playing, let's say, if I play it like that, right? But let's say it happens if I play it like this. I, I honestly can't know how to show you, but. So now let's learn how to fret. So here's um I'm gonna play a note here. Let's see. Go from two. 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 So and then the highest note we got is this one. Dun, 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 for 
versus. Okay, and then you got. So you got bum 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 versus. Ding 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 and. And then ding 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 and. That's how you fret. So you're gonna wanna okay so. If you do this, I've done this probably about 48 times in this video already, but I'm just doing it, okay? And now you try to play. Okay? Move my thing to hand. Ow. Um. Don't do that. Um. That actually kind of hurt. So now, let's, um, it, uh, no, seriously, stop. I'm trying to do this. You, it's, it's, man, can you use like a capo to like hold it down? I don't know. Let's try this. Um, So that's how you fret, um, you just put your finger where you want to play, so. So that's basically the thing, um, now let's go around and fret the other strings. So it's pretty much the same approach. Now, um, there's a more advanced technique I like to call, um, using your leg to keep that thing in place um that way you can consistently play so basically this way you can consistently play with these kinds of strings without you know having to deal with you know your string breaking on you so so yeah um play like a liar. okay so i'm going to use my leg to hold it it's a pretty advanced technique and Okay, horses. And and Ow. This is a very dangerous technique. You may accidentally develop arthritis from this technique. Which means you'll probably become Richard Benson or something, but okay, here we go. So I already play like Richard Benson anyway, so who cares? Alright, so let's see this, so. And then, and then, so yeah, that's how it works. Um, that's my advanced technique. Now we've gone over how to play this, so let's try bending. All right, let's um do this. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, then we could bend it like. Bending actually. Bending actually works! <laughs> so now we're done with this. Um, I think now is probably a good time to write a song with this broken microphone stand. So. A sip of water. Now, open Soundtrap and record our song. Now, I'm doing my hand. Alright, so we're gonna make a music project. Um, move it down there actually. So I'm gonna call it um Operation um Operation um Hope that um i don't get yelled hope that i don't get yelled at there that's the name of the there that's the name of the song
So, let's actually play my broken microphone stand. But there's actually an accessory I want to show you. My pop filter. It's a better one for making percussion grooves, but yeah. So we're not going to use that accessory. Actually, never mind, we are. So, um, come microphone stand here. Um, so let's, um, use the accessory. There, so, yeah, now, let's move out of the way, so now, let's write a song, shall we? Yeah, yeah, before I do that, I'm going to remove my pocket. There, now let's record it. So now, we're going to start off by um, creating a voice channel, okay? Actually, no. Chris, create a, um, a guitar and bass amp channel, okay? We're gonna do an incredibly distorted one. Let's do a um, British stack. This is an amp I, this is an amp I love using. So let's do it. Um, effects. We have overdrive, right? We're gonna turn up the distortion, and um, yeah, we're also gonna add another effect. Let's add a wah. <laughs> the car cam, it would be proud, brother. <laughs> okay, so let's um. So let's write us a song, shall we? I think I already said that, but if I didn't, yeah, okay. So we made the, we add the effect, we added wall, right? So um, I had to cut, by the way, just an interruption. Okay, so let's undo this. Um, that's what it sounds like, right? So let's record it. You should know what that one is, okay? Maybe that's a little too much wah. <laughs> a little too much. Let's, let's tone it down. Tone down the wah. Turn down the wah. Try recording again, but I was born to lose and gambling for fools. Let's turn up my audio a bit, cause you know, and we're gonna try my we're gonna try my best to not accidentally hit the mic while recording. So let's do this. There, let's hear this. I 
I feel I feel like I said something at the beginning. Let me just turn on the turn off the overdrive. Is this? Sounds very good, right? Definitely. It's not just me. Okay. So now, um, we've recorded our song, but that riff really wasn't gonna surface. Suffice, so let's, you know, use a good riff this time. Let's record. My riff. Don't you dare tell me that I asked that I seriously turned down my mic volume by 48 decibels. Manage audio devices. Boom, 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 I know a wonderful riff that'll definitely work on this, even though power chords aren't a thing on this. Um, try it, okay. Wonderful riff, and it definitely works on here, definitely. Got it now! Okay, um, yeah. How does it keep turning down my volume? Okay, just, just, I don't know, I don't know, I can handle it, okay. Let's do it, let's record one last riff. I'm trying to make the riff sound actually good, okay? So that's our song. Um, I've written, I've written a riff. Let's try sweet picking. Oh wait, no. Um, let's try it anyway. Um, we can try two string sweeps and only two string sweeps. Um, let's do it. Um, and here we go. Okay. Um. That's my sweet picking, right? Okay. 
Let's record a wonderful cover of Bulls on Parade now. Actually, we're gonna do that next video. Let's just, you know, make, um, let's just make our solo. Um, yep. Do it okay. So, so a breakdown. So a breakdown. Here we go. All right. You know, do this, and we can go. Bass, I mean, no. I'm playing a broken microphone stand. I know how to play it. Second cut so so far. I I'ma continue. Let's do this. Finish it off with a sick other breakdown. Yep. Okay. Forgot to hit your palm muting. Yep, you can do that too. Um.
Is it gent? Here we go. And I've written it now. And there. That's a thing. Yep. See you later. I've shown you how to play, but you know what? I just realized you haven't been able to hear anything I've been playing. I know. You haven't been able to hear actually that song, so I'm gonna leave it in the description. So, yeah. Let's do a final advanced technique thing. Go back to Tuner Ninja. Let's do that. So let's go back to trying to tune it. Um, where's my tuning device? My pick though. What? Cool. Here's my tuning device, and there's my pick. Oh my god. There's a second my pick disappeared in thin air. Dropped it. Okay, so. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, let's go back to doing this. Let's go back to attempting to tune it. Let's... Let's go back into... Let's like, loosen this, like, a lot. I just found it. Of course, right when I put my pick on my table, it has to fall on me again. Okay, this, this is okay. Okay. So yeah, I think actually maybe doing this actually will tune it, but it takes a while, so let's um keep tuning it up. Seems like I've tuned it up. Like a half step, maybe.
Yep, it, it's it's. Okay, here we go. F sharp nine. Um, so it went from G nine F sharp nine to G nine back to F sharp nine. This is a bit weird. Um. Let's try loosening it. Okay, um, I don't really know how this tuning thing works, so let's finish it off with one last technique. Alright, so the last technique I want to show you is right hand pizzicato, left hand pizzicato. I, sh I kind of did it, actually no, I'm not going to do this, this is boring, let's try tapping. Yeah, um... Let's, let's add a tapping solo to Operation. Hope I don't get yelled at. Cause you know, it's gonna be cool. All right, and finishing off with a six tapping solo. I'm actually up the th there I mean Alright, I'm done recording for now. I don't know if the song. I hope that you enjoyed me playing with my broken microphone stand. I hope I don't get yelled at. See you later.